So here I am taking off over my land. There's some power lines I had to go up past. Uh, that was easy. I'm parked on the side of the road and there are tall trees everywhere. But basically the drone is easy to control once you get the hang of it. There was a no noticeable wind where I was standing on the ground, but once you get it up in the air, it, you might notice a little drift. Uh, on this day, it wasn't bad, so it was easy to control. The camera is fixed, and I am flying uh, by visually by looking at the drone and trying to maneuver it and get the shots uh, around my property that I want. And as you can see, I live in the mountains. And the first couple of flights out here, I probably on two different occasions came out and flew up, got it to the tree level slightly higher, did some panoramic views, very nice. I don't know if it's my lack of my experience or just the nature of the drone, but as you can see, it's a little bumpy. I think it's a combination of my skills or lack of skills and possibly the lightweight drone and the breeze. But the video overall is pretty good. definitely have some tall pine trees that are not very healthy that are going to have to come down. These trees do tower over the rest of them. Yeah, I slowed this clip down a little bit. So as you can see, the video works. You do have to download the app. And if you have an Android, which is what I have, you, you want to go to your settings and your Wi-Fi and connect the drone to your Android. Just like you would connect to any Wi-Fi hotspot or something. You want to connect it. Once you do that, uh, then you start the app and you should be able to uh, pick up the video. You want to do this before you take off, though. You do this on the ground. Other than that... Um, you power up the drone, you turn a switch on, and then you uh, can turn your control switch on. Controls, uh, control base takes a couple of batteries of double A's, and the drone has a little uh, battery uh, pack. It lasts about five minutes uh, from full charge. I bought some extra batteries. They weren't very expensive, and an extra battery charger. It was like four batteries and a charger, so you can you know, USB charge of these things. And so you have plenty of batteries if you want to go out someday and spend several hours out flying and shooting videos. I enjoyed the drone. At some point, um, about a week later, I came back out, actually yesterday, Sunday, and I went straight up with the drone, and maybe I wasn't paying attention or something, but it just seemed to just get too high real quick. And then it started drifting south. And I couldn't pull it back. And I think that was me. I was just a little, uh, little careless with it. And it's got out here somewhere. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it.